Hi there, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I trust that last week's message was encouraging and if you haven't seen it yet, I'd like to encourage you to please go and check it out. I believe that it'll truly bless you. Family, the title for my message today is Close Call and this message goes directly hand in hand with my message that I spoke about a couple of weeks ago called Crash and Burn. And family, this isn't directly related as a result of wanting to continue on that series. But funny enough, this this message is actually a continuation because of the events that happened. Now, family, in that previous clip, I spoke about two vehicle accidents that I was involved in, one after the other, two days in a row. The first one being a minor one with my vehicle and the second one being a major one in one of my friend's vehicles, which I showed you in the video. And funny enough, family, I was involved in a similar, or not a similar incident, but in another life-threatening incident on that very same corner as the one where we had that major accident with my friend's car. So I don't know if there's something with me in that corner, maybe I should avoid it, but something happened, family. For those of you who live in South Africa, specifically those of you who live in Gauteng, you may have heard of the cash and transit heist that happened just over a week ago in Boxburg where many shots were fired, where they blew up the, the van that the cash was in. And if you look now on the screens, I'm showing you a couple of the things that happened in this cash and transit house. And as you can see from some of this footage, that it was quite a serious event. There were shots fired, stray bullets going all over the place. The van was blown up, the people got away. And yes, of course, some of the people got caught, praised the Lord, and the guns were confiscated. But family, what I want to show you is close call. What happened was scary family. I was driving on my way to a work thing in Parkhurst and I was on that same intersection that that accident happened on turning off of Atlas Road onto the N12 and all of a sudden I started hearing ba 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 and at first I thought it's a car backfiring but then the next minute I heard what almost sounded like my car driving over a glass bottle or something like that. I wasn't quite sure what it was and like okay and then the next minute we all know what a bullet ricocheting sounds like. I heard that exact noise just off of the curb next to me. And I was like, sure, okay, something's happening. So I quickly sped through the intersection. And as I was doing so, I looked a little bit further down the road and I could see something was going on there, but I didn't want to hang around because there were bullets flying. So I ran around, my, drove down the off ramp, ran around my car quickly to see that there was no damage, but I did it very quickly, got back in my car and drove on. And a couple of days later, somebody was inspecting the work that they had done on my car after the previous accident, because obviously, there was some work that needed to be done. The bumper was replaced, the radiator was replaced, and the condenser was replaced. So it was all brand new. And they said, but they haven't fixed your bumper properly. Look, there's a chip in it. And I was like, oh my word, that's where the bullet must have fit my car. And we looked at the hole and it was like, nah, that doesn't really look like a bullet hole, you know. But then I was showing a friend the same hole a couple of days ago and they said, no, the bullet hit ya. And it's clearly a bullet hole, you can see from it. And we actually looked and we saw that the bullet had in fact hit my brand new bumper, made a hole in it, and gone straight through the bumper into the condenser that's behind it. Now, I'm gonna show you a quick video of this, so please bear with me, family, as I'm just gonna quickly run down to the car to show you this. Thank you, family. Hey there, family. So I'm sitting here with my car, and as you can see over my shoulder here, that is where the bullet made contact with the front bumper the brand new front bumper that had just been replaced and if you look at this photo now you'll see that it also made contact through the bumper with the condenser that was behind it which is also one of the things that was replaced as a result of the previous accident and behind that's the radiator which was also replaced now how much of a miracle of god is it that it hit this particular portion of the condenser family this is a solid steel cylinder here and if it had have gone a centimeter to the right, it would have hit the very brittle, soft fins of the condenser and consequently would have probably gone into the radiator behind it as well and completely stuffed up both of them. But if you see in the photo, there's minor damage to that cylinder and it's not leaking or anything like that. Now, how much of a miracle of God is that? That I can still show people that cylinder, that I can show people the hole in my bump and say there was no harm done to me and no harm done to my car. Now, if this little hole here had have been 50 centimeters further higher and had have hit the windscreen up there and was a little bit further over and hit it over there, 
that bullet would have gone straight into me, family. We don't sometimes realize how close death can really be. We don't realize how brittle human life really can be. And we need to think about that seriously, family, about how close death can be, how easily it can be for us to die. We take every day for granted thinking, you know, it's okay. I can, I can try and get right tomorrow. Or I can try and get right with God next week. No, family, sometimes it could happen today. It could be a close call or it could be the real thing. Family, without prayer and without a relationship with God, I probably wouldn't be standing here today. The devil would have taken me out long ago and I thank God for his angels of protection that have been around me this whole time. I thank God for the ability to pray before him and put on his armor and plead the blood of Jesus over my life, over my car, over the ministry, over my family and everybody each and every day because if it wasn't for that family, the devil probably would have taken us out long ago. I'm going back over to the studio now, family. I'll see you there in a sec. And we're back in the studio. Thank you, family. So there you've seen it. There you saw the hole in the bumper. I showed you the photo of the condenser. And by the grace of God, it was no major damage. And I can still testify of, of it, family. But it made me really think, our life is so brittle. Our life can end so quickly. The Bible says, our life is like the morning mist. It's here one minute and gone the next. We don't know what our tomorrow looks like, family. We really don't know. We could not be here tomorrow. So we need to make sure each and every day that we are right with God. Sometimes it cannot wait until tomorrow, family. Our lives are so brittle. Our lives are so short. It's here one minute and it's gone the next, family. So we need to make sure that we are right with God. We need to make sure we are in right standing with God. And we need to make sure each and every day, family, that when we leave the house, that we are prayed up. If you don't have time to go and pray all of these things, maybe you're late for work or something like that, at least plea the blood of Jesus over yourself, over your house, over your car, and over your family. But family, what I do want to encourage you is to put on the full armor of God each and every day. You see, when I left the house on these days, on the days with the car accidents, on the day with these bu flying bullets, <laughs> family, I had put on my armor of Ephesians chapter 6. I had bound the devil. I'd plead the blood of Jesus over my family. And that's how I'm still standing here today. That is how I'm still standing here today, family. You might say, but you were in an accident nonetheless. You had a bullet go into your car. Yes, these things happened, but it could have been much worse, family. In all of these instances, it could have been much worse. My car could have been written off in the first accident. In the second accident, I could have died. And in this instance with the bullet, I could have died as well. If the bullet had have gone through the windscreen, I'm pretty sure it would have gone straight into my chest and I could have died. Family, that's the reality of the situation. We need to make right with God and we need to realize that it's a close call. It's a spiritual battlefield out there each and every day. And if we are alive for Christ, the devil is going to try and take us out. But we don't need to worry about it, family, because the Bible says that we don't need to fear because Jesus has overcome the world. We have got the Spirit of God living on the inside of us. And greater is he on the inside of me than he who is in the world, family. We are overcomers. The devil will try. But if we continue to rely on God, if we continue to walk out the house, prayed up every day, pleading the blood of Jesus over ourselves, putting on our armor of God, by Finding the devil, we will walk in the victory, family. We will go through tri trials and tribulations and times of testing, but we will walk out victorious because greater is he on the inside of us, because we rely on him. We are led and guided by him, and we walk in the victory, family. It's that simple. We walk in the victory. So I just want you to be mindful of that, family. If there's something that you've got in your life that you know you need to make right with God about, do it today. It might not be able to wait for tomorrow. And even if it's not a life-threatening situation, the rapture could happen tonight for all we know. Family, make right with God today if you need to make right with God today because there could be a close call and your close call could be a lot closer than my close calls were and it could put you six feet under and where you go who knows, family? You need to make sure that you're right with God. And we need to make sure, family, each and every day that we are prayed up when we walk out of that house. We need to make sure that we are being led and guided by the Spirit when we are making decisions. We need to make sure that we have Him living inside of us. We need to make sure that we are prayed up and protected. Why do you think God gave us the armor of Ephesians chapter 6? He's given us what we need to be able to stand the battles because He knows that the battles are coming. We mustn't remain oblivious and say, no, the battles aren't going to come. The battles are going to come, family. Otherwise, God wouldn't have given us the armor. So put on the armor, 
pray every day and don't wait any longer to make right that thing with God that you are putting off if there's anything in that regard in your life, family. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has been a blessing. I hope it's given you something to think about. And I want to encourage you to please share it with your friends and family. I believe that there are many people out there who need to hear this message. Many people who don't realize that they might not be here tomorrow, family. Many people who don't realize the reason they're constantly walking in the defeat is because they're not praying. They're not putting on the armor of God. They're not pleading the blood of Jesus. These are all things that we have at our disposal, but they're not realizing it and consequently they're not using it and consequently they are walking a defeated life. So share this message please friends and family and I want to encourage you to please come back next week as I'll be sharing more exciting and encouraging messages with you and don't forget at the end of this clip to please drop a comment on the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts concerning this topic and at the end of this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thank you family. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.